Well, here are some quick tips for dealing with a narcissistic person when you cannot get away from them. There is a reason that you need to maintain that contact in your life. And especially when there's someone that comes and goes, like for instance, if you have a toxic parent and the only way to see your not toxic parent is to have that toxic parent around, what do you do? So let me just go over some quick tips real quick. My name is Lisa Colucci and I'm here to help you transform your life after you have had toxic relationships or narcissists in your life. Hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe. If you need coaching, group coaching, or peer support, check out the main description of every video. There's lots of info there. Anyway, let's get started. Okay, so if you cannot go no contact and you need to be around a narcissistic person, let's, let's just go over the example that I gave. So say you have two parents, one is very toxic narcissist, the other one is not, and you wish to visit that not toxic parent, knowing that that narcissistic parent is not going to leave you alone and is going to be there. What do you do? So here's the thing. Say you go visit, okay, and you want to spend time with your nice parent, and that narcissist is just full of nagging interference and full of toxicity and it really depends on what they're doing learning to yellow rock that situation can really help see in this case if you gray rock what's going to happen they're going to start pulling and pulling and pulling and trying to get more and more attention because they see your attention on the other parent so if you give them niceties and you give them little haha that's a funny stories and you don't get involved in their toxic pulling you and their toxic gaslighting and their toxic projecting then you can have that time with that parent and keep them sort of contained over there with the yellow rocking okay and basically what that means is being nice enough to not stir the ego of the narcissistic person without giving too much attention to what they say so it's basically nice gray rock right? Instead of being boring and flat, you're friendly. And oh, okay. And then you go back to the other parent, you can limit your, your conversation topics. Okay, so you can gray rock certain things and not talk about them. In order to do that, have other topics that will replace it. So say that toxic parents loves to talk about politics in an opposing viewpoint from what you have. And instead of just having an open conversation about differing beliefs and differing thoughts, they come at you with, you better believe this or else, or I'm gonna make you change your mind or blah, 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 whatever it is, okay? You can let them start and then find have another topic that deflects it something that will interest them, something that will spark their, their you know, talking and let them run their mouth about that other topic. Does that make sense? It's sort of like, look over there, what is that? And then they, they look there and they start talking about it and forget the conversation. If you place it right and you do it right without a lot of, without any obvious, I'm not talking about that. I will only talk about this because then, then there's an argument, right? So changing the topic, you know that person better than I can give examples for. So find a topics, find topics, have them in your head of what you will switch the topic to. Another thing is recognize this is them and you are you. In this situation that I described, that toxic person is your parent, okay, but that doesn't mean that's who you are. So don't take it personal when they get personal. Very difficult if you're thinking from your head. If you can be in your body more and be aware of what you're actually there for. I'm there to see this other parent. You can allow them to be their truly annoying self that they are without having to react to it and to get invested in it and to take it personal. And so with that might be something you want to talk through with someone or, or find a coach that can help you navigate that because that can be tricky. So another thing is, that last thing I'll say here, have some self-care. When you leave the situation with that toxic person, have something. If you, so say you drive to that tox, that parent's house, have your time with that good parent and you have your time with a toxic parent and then you leave. Before you leave the driveway, you have a podcast ready to go that 
brings you up, uplifts you. Before, you may need to drive to around the corner and pull over and just cry for a few minutes and then have something to give you nourishment emotionally. Use music, use podcasts, use audiobooks, whatever it is. If you're home, you're on the phone, you hang up, go distract yourself, do something else, shake that energy off. Remember that it is about them, not about you. And you're just absorbing it when you are engaging in it. Instead of absorbing it, allow it to be what it is, stay inside yourself, go find something else, okay? Try not to let your mind and your emotions spin out of control with it. Talked about that on a live stream recently about mindfulness, so go check that out. I'll try to post a link here. But anyway, those are some tips for coping with situation like I described. There's plenty of other things we can talk about here. So let me know what you think so we can keep this conversation going in another video. I will see you guys next time and hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe. Take care.